In this session, we will be studying about how to create our first program using ArduBlockly. Before that, we have very small and very important settings to be done in ArduBlockly. So please listen to this session very carefully. Also note down the instructions required as you may need. So open this ArduBlockly folder. Once you install and once you run this ArduBlockly underscore run dot batch, you will see that there is a server compiler settings dot ini file generated. In this file, we have to give the path where our Arduino is installed. For your reference, I have written it in a notepad file that on a general Windows computer, this is where Arduino is installed and this is the full path to the Arduino installation. Now let's see what is present in this compiler settings. Right click that and click on edit. You will see these are some settings which are required for the Arduino Blockly to run. The very first of it is Arduino executable path, which is by default written as none. If it is written as none, we won't be able to download programs using Arduino Blockly. And if we have to be successful in downloading program using Arduino Blockly, we have to put here the entire address of the Arduino installation. As I told you, Arduino is installed over here on Windows machines. Let's also see that through this PC in C program files usually x86 Arduino and Arduino.exe. So this becomes the entire path C program files x86 Arduino and Arduino.exe which I have written just for the reference over here. So we need to copy this path into this section in that INI file. I have also have this text here from that INI file. So it's not needed now. What we need is this entire path without any spaces to be put here instead of none. So just remove none and do a control V which is pasting over there. You can also if needed delete that none right click using your mouse and just click on paste once you paste it go to file and save it now i'll close minimize this close this folder this is my Arduino blockly folder which where previously we had extracted the contents now as we have done the server compiler settings let's run the Arduino blockly underscore run dot bat file once again just simply double click it once it's open you can go into the file sorry edit preferences here you must be able to see this location of arduino.exe if it is not visible, go back to the text file, INI file and do the required changes. Moreover, by default there is an atmail atmega explain mini board selected which we have to change to Arduino Uno as we are using Arduino Uno for our experimentation. If you connect an Arduino, then a serial port will be shown over here which is not seen right now. So let's close it for now. Now I have an Arduino board with me. If you have followed all the instructions and if you have this Arduino board with a USB cable, you may please plug it inside your computer. I'll just do it. Plugged it in. If you are on Windows computer, as I told you before, you can go to the device manager and see if this Arduino board is visible there as a COM port. Usually it's present there if the drivers are properly installed. If the drivers are not properly installed, you will see an error over here. So see, Arduino Uno is available at COM5. In order to block lead hands, if we go into the preferences now, we should be able to see the COM5 here. Okay. Now we'll discuss about the Arduino and its pinout in detail once again, 
Before that, let's do a quick program. I had told you before that there is an LED connected by default to pin number 13 of Arduino. We'll quickly write down a program using blocks to blink this LED connected to pin number 13. And then we'll go on to see the details of how LEDs are connected and how you can connect multiple LEDs to the Arduino using breadboard. First thing to do is find out a loop. Always remember, every embedded system program or every Arduino program is needed to be executed infinitely. If you take an example of temperature controller or the energy meter present in home, they don't just execute once and stop. Once a complete cycle is completed, they start again from the beginning. So if an energy meter is there, it shows date, time, hour, minutes, second, the energy consumed and all the details. Once it finishes showing all the details, it starts again from the first parameter. How this happens? Because every program we do is executed in an infinite loop, in an infinite loop. Here in Arduino Blockly, in the loops, you will get this repeat while do routine. Just place it here. So it will repeat while some condition is attached here. To attach a condition here, we just took this from loops, repeat while. To attach a condition here, we'll go into the logic section. Here, we'll find out a block, which is say true. When we are doing what repeat while true means we are giving nothing inside the while loop and simply just a true, which is a constant. So whatever I write down here, whatever blocks we put here will be executed infinitely. As told you, we will just do the input and output and blink the built-in LED. You will also see there is a separate function called set built-in LED to high or low in the input output tab. You can also notice the other functions available, set digital pin, read pin, analog pin. We'll discuss them all in detail. For now, we'll see this set built-in LED to high. I'll just put this block here. Then from the time, I will take a delay routine of 500 milliseconds. By default, it's 1000 millisecond. I'll make it 500. Zero, zero. Again, going into input output, I will take set built-in LED, set to high, and from time, I will take this and wait 1000 milliseconds. Instead of 1000, I'll keep it 500. But here, I will make the set built-in LED instead of high to low. If the Arduino is connected, if you have done the settings properly, then you can click here, which is the button present play button. This play button is important, the red one which you see. Just click on this button and this code will be uploaded into the Arduino board. It shows you a message over here, plus Arduino output message is also seen here. What it says right now is serial port is not available. We might have some issues with the serial port. So let's check it once more in the device manager. Serial port is present. So this finishes our program. You can also see a respective text code is generated for this program over here, which is the Arduino program. Now to download this, what we have to do is we have to go into once again, check the preferences. Everything sounds correct. It also shows default IDE button. Yeah, compile and upload sketch. That's good. And let's click on this upload sketch to Arduino. As can be seen, once the uploading is done, it shows successfully upload sketch. And onto the Arduino itself also, you can see the LED being blinking here. If you can, I don't know if you can spot it properly. It's over here. <coughs> this LED is blinking with a delay of 500 milliseconds. And if you want, we can also change this delay further faster to 100 milliseconds. Also remember one more thing, whenever you click this button, the built-in Arduino installation compiler is invoked and you might also see an Arduino window like this when the installation process starts. It's perfectly normal 
it is not starting the Arduino but it is just invoking the compiler of the Arduino to download the program into this microcontroller board. Also notice that <coughs> if this is the first time you are downloading program into the Arduino board then there is a there are different LEDs onto the board called TX and RX. You will see a lot of activity over there when the program is actually being downloaded. That is also perfectly normal as you will see onto this board in a short as soon as the program downloading starts. 